Iaquint. Each other's radars for quite some time. Tonight, it shall be done. Both guys well rounded. You think we're getting a box match Sunday? You just don't know, right? You don't know who's going to be able to deploy their strategy the way that they need to. This is a close fight on paper, and also in every performance we have seen them put on, these guys seem to be the mirror image of each other. Good series of punches by him there. He has certainly had no trouble finding the range tonight. He is finding the target with everything he throws. He's mixing it up beautifully. Big powerful punch land. Now he gets back to range. Nice job moving off the center line. He slips to avoid that right hand. Trying to establish that jab once again. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Oh, he's in trouble. He's hurt bad. He's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. He got him back! Wow! Wow! Unbelievable! He got him! What a performance! Just the way he drew it up as he gets the knockout victory here tonight. It's hard to land a strike more flush than he did right there. And I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So he'll see the replay and probably shake his head. But ultimately, this is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight. The official decision is in. We said it inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Gaines will stop this contest at two minutes, three seconds of the very first round. To find the winner by knockout, Bobby King! Ready. I feel like both of these guys are the top of the food chain. They're the best of the best that we can put inside the octagon. They are so well rounded, they have every skill, and that is going to be on display tonight in this key matchup. Both fighters back to their feet now. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. Big hook. Fighters upright. Big punch land over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Nice sneak head kick. Alright, single so power tie now. Well, there's a takedown attempt. No surprise that he would go for it there, but unable to get the fight to the Whenever your opponent knows that you're gonna try to take him down, you have to disguise it. He did not disguise it. He tried to just shoot a blind shot. He got defended as you would expect him to. Looking for the right, takedown. So now gets we are on the ground. Now he is in his wheelhouse. We'll see if he can get one of the submissions to pop here in there. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Body kick right on the elbow. Try to establish that jab. Try to close the That's a good one. scramble right there. Beautiful transition. Back to the left hand now. Unable to connect. Oh, right thus far. How 
Does his opponent still stand? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's got to be over very soon. One minute to go in the round. Back to the feet. And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. Muay Thai Club. Nice strike. And the takedown attempt. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh! Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he is trying to take down that move. Oh, no! Oh, my God. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, round two. Know when that leg kick's coming. Ah, oh, that jab hurt him. Alcantara gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. His leg is hurt here. You can see him limping a little bit. Oh, and another leg kick lands flush. And now you're starting to see visible damage on that knee leg. Of his visible damage. And you see him starting to make mistakes now in his defenses because now he sees the triangle. And this could be trouble here. Looks like it's pretty tight. He's trying to work his head out of harm's way. It, it might be over. Oh, nice. Now he's okay. Now he can escape. Lands flush with that right hand. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop. You got to defend. But you can see him now starting to gain posture. And the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound starts. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Alcantara. Now look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. Man, this is some serious ground. That'll do it! And that'll do it! Oh! Woo! <laughs> oh, absolutely one for the highlight reel right there. A tremendous kick to spell the end of the night for his opponent, and for him, I should say, but just caught him flush, full force, beautiful extension on the kick, and the fight was really over as soon as that one made contact. I'm not even sure he was conscious when he hit the canvas. Outstanding performance here tonight. The official decision is now in. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at two minutes, 47 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, so... Ready. Ready to fight. All right, so here we go, round one. I can barely hear myself think in this arena right now. Two of the most dominant, well-rounded fighters in this division. I mean, these guys are the best of... I'm excited to watch the highest level of MMA on display tonight. Looks like he's trying to set up a takedown here. There's the attempt. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick lands by the kick. And he lands another leg kick there. He's already landed several in this round, and the damage is really starting to take its toll. Yeah, it's really starting to take its toll. And you watch the opponent walking gingerly on his leg, and one big tell that you're starting to really do well with your leg kicks is when your opponent starts to switch stances. Watch for a stance switch very soon. Great punch landed with so much power. Oh, working hard here against the fence. We'll see if he can get the takedown. Look at him drive the shin into the whole body. The body. Tried to set up the straight oh. left, but he missed. And a nice job to stick with it there to complete the takedown. Now, the guy's attacking the triangle. He finds himself in trouble because he got a little bit lazy in the full guard. Looks like he's trying to manipulate the head. This could be tight. 
There he is. He's moving to the finishing position. Now watch him go parallel right next to the corner. Oh, he might have got him with the choke. Again, pick your poison on the ground with this guy. All that pressure on the side of your neck. I don't know the artery, John. I'm pretty sure you might. You get all that pressure on that artery, and it puts you to sleep. What is it? I think it's the carotid artery, and a lot of fighters say they've got a pretty good feel for it. He certainly did that. That's why you got to have friends that are like encyclopedias. John Ennis, my encyclopedia. My guy. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He was able to get the fight to the ground exactly where he wanted it. Eventually, his opponent gave him an opportunity to get a submission. He did that, and he should be very proud of the work he did tonight in the octagon. So there he is, your winner by submission. And now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest. At two minutes, 58 seconds of the very first round. For the winner by submission. in this division. Hard to find anything resembling a strong weakness on either side when you break down the fight. There are no weaknesses in these guys. These guys are as well-armed as they come. They both can wrestle, both can grapple, both can strike. They can do it all. And these are the matchups that we dream of as MMA fans. Archer, there's the early takedown. He told us on Thursday he didn't necessarily see a path to victory if he couldn't get takedowns. That is certainly a good sign. Right away, he got the takedown. I don't believe they could have imagined that it would work so well so early. Great job. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Beautiful strike. Nice hook. Good job keeping that head off the center line. Slips to avoid the right hand. Knee to the body. Oh, looks like he's trying to set up the takedown. There's the attempt. Oh, a single collar tie there. Oh, that had potentially a critical takedown here. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Left hand punch with the clinch. Oh, now he's got the tie plumb, Daniel. If you're on the other side, what are you trying to do to get out of this potentially dangerous position? You gotta start digging your shoulder to a side and then trying to shove it under her. You cannot bend down to try to get out of Muay Thai clinch. Oh, he's back up again. You gotta like that. Ooh, what a punch. And both guys really throwing with authority. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Battling for hooks. Good defense to block the strike coming back. And again, he shoots for a takedown here. Nearly got the fight to the ground, but once again, the takedown defense holds up. But he knows this. He knows that in order to finally get the fight to the ground, he has to be patient and he's going to have to be committed. If he thought that he would get every take down the shot, he would not find success that he had been to get. Seconds winding down in the opening round. Round two is next. All right, here we go with round two. Round one, pretty good, not great, but some action on both sides. We can't always hope to follow with John. Yeah. Sometimes we gotta deal with the ebbs and flows of a fight. In round number one, just like both guys have success. Let's see who really charges out ahead in the second round. Oh, big punch land. 
Well, eventually you know he's going to turn this defense into offense, but he's certainly doing a nice job on the defensive end thus far. They talk about the feeling out process. He's getting his opponent's timing. Now he's blocking everything. Expect count as we go forward. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No through. Oh, swept the leg beautifully to get the takedown this Mr. Miyagi would be very, very proud. He jumps on a headlock. We call this in wrestling just a headlock. And if you're not careful, you can get stuck in an arm triangle. South position now. We'll see how he chooses to proceed. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. And now trying to take the back. All right, so another swing and a miss. And I'd imagine if your gas tank is this low, you've got to find times to try to preserve that energy and, and get you. What a beautiful uppercut. It landed beautifully. Perfect placement on that shot. Single collar tie now. Nice punch lands over the top. So the fighter was really caught in the submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're going to fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. Oh, he lands another strike to the... Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his equipment hurt very bad. Oh, he is off, but man, is he hurt. A finish could come here at any time. for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week, played out here on fight night. He found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen. The official decision is in. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop this contest at 49 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by Narski. Ready. Ready for Well, these guys have been on each other's radars for quite some time. Tonight, it shall be done. Both guys well-rounded. You think we're getting a kickboxing match tonight or what? You just don't know, right? You don't know who's going to be able to employ their strategy the way that they need to. This is a close fight on paper. Master of the transition. Nice scramble. Oh, good job defensively there to block the strike by Arlovsky. Nice placement there on the left hook counter. All right, so there it is, the early takedown 
He told everyone here during fight week within earshot that he was going to try to wrestle, try to get this fight to the ground, and had no problem doing so just then. During their fight camp, they made a checklist, and they checked off the most important part of the fight, getting an early takedown. Look at him chopping the wood. Chopping the wood with those leg kicks. Nice punch there by the Pitbull. Good series of strikes for him there. Staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is the same story. Just told on a different day. Takedown after takedown after takedown. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Again, they will clinch. And he landed the right hand there. Nice kick. Oh, oh and there's another leg kick for good measure. Good job with that weapon here tonight. And if you're trying to slow your opponent down, mission accomplished so far. When you can land that many leg kicks, you start to affect the... Oh, nice timely trip there to get the takedown. Now he's going to attack the triangle jump here. Bottom fighter trying to consent. He's out. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on them. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter, and he's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather. Now the guy's got on bar. He's attacking it on him. Oh, nice job, Houston. He's nicely done. Oh, and he's back up again. Those get-ups have been there for him all night. Landed a big kick there. Great punch. Tries the flying knee to no avail. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kicks. He's throwing high kicks, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. He's in trouble. Oh, he's hurt knee. bad. These are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an out. He's done, he's done. Oh, oh. Yeah, that right there is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched him. I mean, a competitive fight that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Let's get to the official decision here once more, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop this contest at 34 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Andre the Pit. They can do everything when they're locked inside of the octagon. I'm so excited to watch the highest level of MMA on display tonight. Shot go gets off with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Well, the leg kicks have been a big storyline in this one, and there's another one. So he continues to slow his opponent down, and nice poker face on the other side. I'm not sure how many more he can take. He won't be able to take many more. Think about Edson Barbosa, how he lands those beautiful leg kicks, no wind-up so fast. Eventually, guys can stop from taking too many. This seems to be the path 
that he is wanting to take tonight in this fight. These guys throwing early. Head kick lands. Just over three minutes now to go in round one. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling should really be entertaining. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. He's putting him in exactly the position he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Making all these shots count. Nowadays, you see guys just throwing little shots that don't really matter. Very few guys now are committed to ground and pound as they were in the past. Well, he's up, but oh, is he hurting. Huge knee lands for the Tycoon. And they separate. Oh, what a punch. It's such a fast leg. And maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got to hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike in the night. Right punches there. Back and forth we go. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Okay. And now he lands a combination. scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. I would now go inside the octagon where Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's going to stop in this contest at two minutes, 15 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by the Round one is upon us between two of the best fighters in this division. Hard to find anything we said with the is on either side of the break. There are no weaknesses in these guys. These guys are as they come. They 
both can wrestle, both can grapple, both can strike. They can do it all. And these are the matchups that we dream of as MMA fans. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Now connects with a right. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can fix it. To the mouth. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Oh, look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. Oh, nice job to reverse the position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. And they both stand up. Oh, there he goes, transition. Oh, can't do that. So at long last, he finally lands his first takedown after several failed attempts. You knew coming in that he was going to stay committed to the takedown, kept on trying, and finally got him to the ground. Left hand punch from the clinch. Oh! Crowd loving it, just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. Well, what a moment for this fighter here tonight. A massive knockout on the sport's biggest stage. Seminal moment for that fighter tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Gaines called a stop to this contest. Uh, two minutes, 33 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Tony! And now, the ground and pound starts. And he's back up again. So the takedowns have been there, as have the get-ups. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. That could have been lights out. Well, we told you off the top he had the reach advantage, and you saw it right there with that punch. Oh, how about this kicking game on full display tonight? Kick back to back. Tuna makes up the target. Tight to the Ooh, head kick lands. It's hurt. So a combination of kicks from him, and most of those found the target, DC. The kickboxing is on point tonight. He's so sharp, and he feels so good that he's throwing multiple kicks in a row. Just shot to spell the end for his opponent. Crowd is absolutely loving it. He gets the near perfect land. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming, but just the way he drew it up here tonight, saw that little crack of an opening and barged right through it to get the knock. Out. 
And there he is, the undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. He's gonna like the sound of that. Big knockout for him to win the belt here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at three minutes, 23 seconds of the very first round. Playing the winner by knockout and still. Tonight. He's a fantastic kickboxer, but tonight is the kicks that's been the day. All right, so there's the early takedown. Pretty evident, DC, that he... No, he's the triangle. The triangle looks pretty tight, DC. I know Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt, but maybe not good here. No, it looks like he's getting in deep. Now he's okay. Now he can escape. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. All right, north-south position now, DC. We'll see how he chooses to advance from here. Well, you know, I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in a gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> Rodman just got full mount now. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Just over two minutes now to go. Big punch from the clinch. Gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Mixes it up nicely in terms of this can change the fight. Another takedown land. Oh, and he's back up again. Well, it's not due to a lack of effort. He continues to throw, but this is like double A striking. This is not high level. Yeah, you can't be missing. It takes so much energy to just throw a strike. It can be with it like this. Only exhaust. I mean, over and over, he gets to the legs before his opponent reacts. By beating him on the entry, now it's up to the opponent to keep up. But this guy's playing chess. His opponent's playing checkers. He's playing chess. He can't keep up. Once he gets to his legs, he's got to beat him defensively before he gets his hands locked around his legs or his body. Lands with the kick there. No pad on that foot. No shit guard. He takes all of that kick every time he throws Oh, big roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. Uppercuts and bunches. We don't say that all the time, but that is certainly... Oh, how about the transition to the ankle pick? Now we will see where he goes from here. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. Oh, collar tie. And a nice... Oh! He's hurt. stoppage and a great performance by this young man. Oh, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight, but don't ignore all the work he did with his hands. 
and give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like you got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Here's Bruce Buffer. He has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called to stop for this contest. At 57 seconds of round number two, declaring the winner by knockout, Anderson, the Spider! circling now towards the left. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with the punch there. Accuracy at its best. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Anderson gets hit by that leg kick. May not be a bad idea to start to check some of these. Slips the punch. Enters in on the double leg. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Nice punch landing on top. Oh, what a fantastic strike. Oh, big diving punch lands. Oh, look at him jump in to try to get the finish. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Oh, and a nice jab by him there, and that's going to give his opponent some problems. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. All 25 total strikes have landed for Corey Anderson. Wow, what a fight! Oh, man, this guy kicks like a mule. So hard. He kicks so hard every time you can see him drive his shit into his opponent. So there's that takedown defense on full display yet again. It's held up for him. He does a fantastic job of squaring up his hips, getting his legs back, and understanding not to allow his opponent to get going on his takedown push. Oh, there's a takedown attempt. Unable to get the fight to the ground. Nice job by the opponent. Nice job by the opponent defending the takedown, but now he is going to have to mix it up and get the first shot. Will not work. He's got to go one, two, three at a time to try to overwhelm him to give him too much to process to try to get this fight to the ground. Oh, strong punch there by Anderson. Another shot here. There's no give on that leg kick. Sound defensively here as he stays upright. Double leg takedown, no good. Right hand on point. Oh, an obvious limp there is for certain. Whoa! Just got to start mixing things up a bit more. Get some strikes to the body. At this point, he's really just been a headhunter. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go take that finish. Now goes in and secures the takedown. All right, half guard position here. We'll see what he can do with it. A lot of weapons at his disposal from this dominant position. Oh, man. I feel for a wrestler. This is the most dominant position in all of fighting because wrestlers love control. Right. And to have your upper body free and your leg able to hold your opponent in position, it is like striking gold. Build your posture, throw your punches, big damage, but then always control the far side. Under who got him attacking that guillotine. Posturing up now. Wow. 
Well, you gotta be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's going to be. Well, he's up, but he is hurting for certain. The finish could come at any time. So unofficially, 63 total strikes have landed for Corey Anderson. Landing with 50% accuracy tonight from here as he lands another leg. Whoa! He's a coach. He's a good man. Just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. And there he is, the king of the 205ers, the UFC light heavyweight champion of the world, and no better way to get the job done than he did tonight by knocking.